Hey, this is JJ with Deluxe Vehicle Detailing and Paint Correction in beautiful Largo, Florida. Yes, unlike part one, today on part two, uh, we're going to be in the mid to upper 60s. It is sunny and beautiful outside. I should be working with my real job, which is mobile fitness and instruction. Yes, I own my own personal training business. If any of my clients are watching, happy MLK Day. Happy not having to have me <laughs> bust you on a workout today because I am taking the day off. And I am trying to stay real busy so that uh, I can get a lot of stuff done. That in a nutshell. It's not quite all true, but I am keeping really busy and that's the good part. Anyway. I have uh, about eight cars and one boat lined up to do detailing, but I have decided, as this series is showing, to make something out of nothing. And that is to make this garage into a detailing shop. And I invite you to watch some of my uh, technique in trying to get this done. I'm going to show you here and get my uh, shadow out of there. I, many years ago, put a bottom of a tent in this bay. I also took a bottom of a decorative pool uh, plastic and... Did this so no moisture comes up from the ground and harms my beautiful BMW C4M Roadster and my recently departed 1972 Datsun BRE tribute vehicle with my 3.1 stroker. I do have a uh, one of my first videos with my old cell phone and uh, I'm missing that car but uh, I got it sold and so well basically I've got $17,000 to play with to upgrade my detailing which I've been doing since 77 I was going to buy a house I am now on pause with that so I am going to line these two bays on the outside walls with plastic I am going to take metal such as I can almost show you here <laughs> I guess I can it's awful sunny and I am going to line this metal, as you can see there, all along these outside edges. I have them back through this lean-to area. I've got them on the back side over here. And I am going to, on the outside, go all along here. And you can see the metal piece through that opening. I'm going to kind of secure some of this a little better. I'm going to run it on the outside. Uh, this will be my interior. I'm just trying to cut down the draftiness. I doubt any of you can relate to having a 1930s circa <laughs> hand-built garage. I did some uh, deconstruction today. I'm going to show you this kind of cool thing, how this was built. I guess it was built by uh, farmers, Amish. This was a... Uh, a large farm that had a lot of citrus. Show you my chaotic workshop area here in the technically third bay. Anyway, just a quick little rundown as I've done some work. I've cleared some things out. Uh, I'm going to take uh, I'm going to take a saw. I'm going to cut these sections uh, lengthwise in the middle. I'm going to dig a trench. I'm going to bury them down in. I'm going to use some bricks and uh, some, uh, uh, you know, earth that I dug out from the trench, some rock. And I'm going to basically just seal up, you know, here in Florida, we have a real bad pollen season. Uh, I've got termites in this garage. I do rent this place really super cheap for two and a half acres. I'm a mile from Indian Rocks Beach. It's a great spot, uh, but I'm kind of a minimalist and this place is kind of dilapidated. Forgive me for rambling a little bit. I'll, uh, I'll touch on that in a moment. 
but I've done some research on some tarps, you know, much like I used here. I, I double cover my cars. I've got a soft uh, car cover underneath that plastic. I have a lot of uh, wild animals in here. I've got fruit rats. I've got cats. I've got raccoons. I tried trapping them and I just trapped a ton of animals. I, I finally just quit. They were all uh, have a heart traps and I set them all free. Um, but I've got a lot more cleaning and some measuring to do. I plan on putting somewhere between 8 and 11 four-foot LED lights along uh, this back wall, along this side uh, open wall. This is where I'm going to do the work. I'm going to have to squeeze in tight along this side. I'm going to back the BMW along that wall. I'm going to come out here. I'm going to run some uh, tarps with sides and uh, bring some like awning type of tarp material so that I give myself plenty of room. So on this back side, I'll have good lighting. Uh, as you can see also, I've got uh, some mobile lighting. I've got, I hadn't fired up this halogen in a long time. This is also going to be my Nano Triz Nano Polisher stand for holding my rotary. And then I've got a collection just in the short term of uh, halogens and some spotlights and some LED lights but it's going to be a little at a time I've got an electrician working with me we're going to run a you know full line out here I'm going to run a compressor and uh, I just need to know you know how much space this is only prototype one I've got uh, many other uh, uh, you know things basically I want to be in the shade I want to be dry I want to uh, get out of the dew and the rain and uh, if any of you have a real garage, you probably along the top here, I'm going to, one thing I thought maybe others could relate to, because this garage is, it's a joke, but uh, uh, you've probably got vents that might run along the side between the ceiling and the wall. Trust me, when you've got a lot of wind blowing, especially during pollen season, you're going to blow a lot of debris into your garage. And if you go and try and polish over that, you're going to have real problems. So anyway, I'm just giving an update. I'm trying not to make this too long. I see that it already is seven and a half minutes. That's way too long for me. I do want to show you one more thing. Something I bought to make my videos better. I've got a magnetic dry erase board. So when I do videos, I don't ramble and go off topic too much. Helps keep me on point. I got it from Walmart. It was about 15 bucks. There's the label from it. So. I've followed a format. Yay me. All right, folks, bear with me. I am going to make some really awesome videos, some unique videos. Um, I follow and have been following for about six months uh, some, uh, some really great detailers out there. If you watch them, <laughs> all 15 subscriptions I have right now, uh, feel glad that you saw the early stages of this. These will all be erased in time, but uh, I am going to, uh, I'm going to do some amazing things, and uh, I've been spending a ton of money on some new products. I'm going to do a lot of side-by-side -side comparisons, a lot of long-term studies, show you how to use some things maybe you've never seen before. So it's going to get a lot better. You're just going to have to trust me. Please subscribe. Please share this with others. This is my rebirth of detailing. Uh, come, come join the birth with me. I thank you for watching and I look forward to showing you a lot of great things in the future. Take care now. Bye.